Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Dr. VKR All About Civil Engineering. This is your Dr. VKR. Today we are going to discuss about the gate examination pattern and other related important things. As we know that gate notification has been released and everyone is applying for that one. So let us discuss about the gate examination. Before going to the actual content, I request everyone to like, share and subscribe our channel Dr. VKR All About Civil Engineering. Now. So, gate 26 notification has been released and in our video we are going to discuss about the civil engineering branch mainly. Before going to the actual content, let us understand what is gate, what is its importance, everything. So, gate is the full form of graduate aptitude test in engineering. So, this is the full form and it is a prestigious national level examination, one of the most sorted examination and it is one of the dream for the most of the students who want to pursue the higher studies in prestigious institutes of national importance like NITs, IITs and IISC Bangalore. So mainly this is used for get the admission into various masters and doctoral programs and some of the PSUs also recruiting the candidates based on the gate qualification also. So recruitment by some public sector undertakings. So, if I discuss about, if I say about the admission, then we are going to have the two components, master's program and direct doctoral programs in various domains like engineering, technology, architecture, science and humanities. And similarly, we can get the doctoral program also after completion of the MTech through GATE again. So, this is also doctoral program in relevant branches. The difference between the direct doctoral program and here the doctoral program is, in direct doctoral program, we are going to join the PhD directly after completion of BTEC, 5 years program this is. So here the doctoral program sir, we are going to join the PhD program after completion of the MTech, that is the only difference. Now, so if you see the importance of the gate, we are going to have some financial assistance also from the government. So it is based on the various domains like either we are applying for the approaching for the MTech or doctoral program. For master students, the Stipend is around 12,400 per month. In general, it will be given for 22 months. And for doctoral program, either it may be of direct PhD or doctoral degree also. So, where there, where we are going to get 37,000 per month for the first two years and later for the next three years, we are going to get 42,000 per month as the fellowship. So, this is the financial assistance which we are going to get. With the gate qualification, even if we join any of the private engineering colleges or deemed universities everywhere, if we join through gate, obviously we are going to get the financial assistance. And recruitment is also one of the important aspects because most of the PSUs are recruiting the candidates mainly through gate qualification. They are calling, taking the gate qualified people and they are conducting the interviews based on that performance again they are recruiting the people. So in the PSUs we are having three categories. One is the Maharatna, Navaratnas and Mini Ratnas. So here I have given few of the companies under the Maharatna examples are Indian Oil, ONGC, Coal India, Bharat Petroleum, Bell, Gale, NTPC like this and Navaratnas we are having the NMDC. Nalco, NFL, Hutco, IRCTC, IRCON like this and Miniratna companies are CPCL, CCI, Vapcos, NFDC, BDL, all these are the Miniratna companies. So, in this central government undertaking companies, gate qualification is one of the important criteria for shortlisting for the remaining process. So, those who are focused on the gate can focus on the central government jobs also. Next are the important dates. What are the dates we are having? So, if you observe here, the website has been opened, the portal for the online application has been opened on August 28th and the last date is without fee is September 28th. After September 28th also, we can apply up to October 9th with the late fee. Those late fee details we will see in the next slides. So, GATE 2026 is going to be held on 4 days mainly, February 7, 8 and 14, 15. Results will be announced on March 19. So, these dates may be liable to change also. So, the examination schedule, exam will be conducted in two sessions, morning and afternoon. So, in forenoon session timings are 9.30 to 12.30, afternoon session timings are 2.30 to 5.30. So, here we are having the 
option of opting for two different papers. So if we are opting for two different papers, we are not going to have on the same slot. We are going to have different dates and different slots, but the exam center may not be same. We will have the exam center in the same town or city also. Now, eligibility, who can apply for this gate? In general, it is bachelor program BE, BTEC, BPharm, bachelor degree in engineering technology. Here, there are two categories, one coming from directly from the intermediate, another one coming from diploma course. So, if you are coming from intermediate, you need to have 4 years BTEC. If you are coming from diploma, it is 3 years BTEC. Here, they have given the eligibility for present third year students also. That means, pre-final year students also are eligible. That means, the validity of this GATE score is 2 years. So, either you are in third year or final year or you completed the graduation, you can apply for the GATE exam. Here, this is the regular one. In addition to this one, we are having some professional societies like AMIE. If you are getting the degree, either BE, BTEC, BR, Chakulant examinations from the institutions like AMIE, then we are eligible to apply for the GATE exam. Here, the main eligibility is completed section A or equivalent of such professional courses. These are the eligibility criteria. Now, we are having the exam fee. As I mentioned, we are going to have the two categories without late fee, with late fee. Without late fee, the deadline is September 28th, with late fee, it is October 9th. So, here the exam fee for the different category of students, female, SC, ST, PWD are the 1000 and 1500 with late fee and all other candidates including foreign nationals per test paper here 2000 and 2500 here if we are uh, if i am opting for two papers then i need to pay fee for two papers separately so 2000 2000 4000 or 1500 1500 3000 like that for two papers separately we need to pay the exam fee then the tentative list of examination cities or towns we are coming under the iit madras zone so, I have given the list of the cities where we can have the option of selecting the exam center. For Andhra Pradesh, it is Cherala, Babatla, Chittur, Guntur, Kadapa, Nandyal, Nellur, Ongol and Tirupati. Pondicherry, it is Puducherry and Telangana, Adilabad, Karimnagar, Kammam, Kodad, Kottagudem, Nizambad, Surapet, Varangal. All these are the exam centers. Now, data required for filling of the application form. So, we need some basic details of our personal details and some documents also. Just I will give the overview of the documents or the personal information required. First one is the name. The name of the candidate in the application form must be exactly same as that in the valid photo ID. The reason why it should be valid photo ID is this photo ID we need to carry with us to the exam center. There they will check with the name on the hall ticket and name on the photo ID. If these two matches then only we are allowed to write the exam. And we should not include any prefixes like Mr., Dr., Mrs., Professor. We should not use any of these symbols. Then we require the date of birth, personal mobile number, name and mobile number of parent or guardian and address for communication including PIN code. Our address should be there. Details of eligibility degree that is whether we are in BTEC third year or BTEC final year or we completed the BTEC, all the details we need to give along with the institute or college name address with the PIN code choice of gate test paper as i mentioned previously we are allowed to write the two papers so first one is our branch paper if we are civil engineering that is the first paper second paper it is optional we can choose from the given options and choice of three gate examination cities from the same zone i have given the iit madras zone city so from that zone only we need to take the three cities and these are for the fee payment for the application these are required and documents required we need to upload few documents while applying for the gate exam so those documents are like one is the first one is good quality image of the candidates photograph they have given certain guidelines based on those guidelines only we need to apply for uh, we need to upload the image and similarly candidate signature also conforming to the specifications given and scanned copy of valid photo identity document the same must be produced while we went to the exam center there also the same photo id has to be there and your name on the application should be same as that on the photo id document also and scanned copy of category certificates if applicable if you are belongs to any of this category then we need to upload that scanned copy and if you are having any of the disability then we need to apply that document also 
and relevant annexures if anything is applicable and if you need the scribing option or you need some compensatory time then we need to apply that particular certificate also so that the scribing option will be given. Now let us see the question paper pattern. In general the gate is going to be computer based test. So we are going to have the computer based test for a period of 3 hours. English is the language of examination, duration is 3 hours, for a scribing option it is more and we are having total 30 test papers like different domains like civil engineering, automobile, agricultural, mining, mechanical, all this like this we are having 30 different papers and the sections are general aptitude and candidate selected subjects we are having. If I am having the core branch of civil, then civil plus mathematics will include, include in addition to the general aptitude. And type of questions we have is three types of questions we are going to have in the gate exam. One is the multiple choice questions that means we are having a question with multiple choice four options will be there out of those four options any one is going to be correct we need to identify that correct answer. Next one is multiple select questions out of the four options maybe more than one also correct maybe out of four A, B, C, D, B, C, D are correct options then I need to click on all the three options that is multiple select that means for one question there are more than one answer available in that options that we need to identify. Next one is numerical answer type these are like fill in the blanks they will give the problem and we need to write the final value which they ask that is a numerical answer type and in general the gate exam will focus on testing the abilities of the students in various categories like recall, comprehension, application, analysis and synthesis on all these aspects they are going to test our abilities. Then we are having the question paper pattern if you see the distribution of the marks, general aptitude 15 marks, engineering mathematics 13 marks, subject questions 72 marks, this is for the civil engineering. For some of the branches here the max going to have the 15 marks and here we are they are going to have the subject questions as 70 marks but for civil 15 marks for the general aptitude, engineering we are mathematics we are going to have for 13 marks and core civil engineering is 72 marks, total together 100 marks we have. So here in the gate exam we are having one mark questions or two marks questions, both are there. Some are going to have the weightage of one mark, some are going to have the weightage of two marks. So there is a negative marking also, for one mark wrong answer question, one third is the negative marking, for two marks wrong answer question, two third is the negative marking. So here if you observe this one, this negative marking is there only for MCQs multiple choice questions not for multiple select questions and NAT questions these two does not have any negative marking so you can attempt these questions without any fear of negative marking so that you may have some slight chances if the answer correct then you may get more marks also. So here the problem with the MSQs is multiple select questions if three options are correct we need to click all the three. If out of three only two are clicked by the candidate then that question carries zero marks only they will not give any marks to that one that is why negative marking has been removed for the MCQs and NAT it is like a fill in the blanks so there will not be any options whatever the answer we got the same answer we need to give we need to write or type. Then we discussed about the two paper combination so here if you observe <coughs> Wherever the civil engineering is applicable, I have taken that branches. So AE, AG, AR, CE, CS, CES, GE. So mostly we prefer the CE and GE. Geometric engineering and civil engineering, these are very close to the civil engineering and civil engineers are eligible to write these papers also. AE is aerospace engineering, agricultural, architecture, civil engineering, geometrics like this, the abbreviations of these things. So since we are opting for CE, I prefer to go for the second paper as GE so that you can get the admission in IITs under the GE also. GE is nothing but geometrics engineering a part of the civil engineering also. So like this you can I select what is the second paper you can choose if you want to go for two papers for that this table will be useful. Then we are having the marking scheme of the gate CE exam pattern. So as I mentioned one mark questions are there, two marks questions are there. Total we are having 65 questions, we carries the 100 marks together and three, years, three hours is the duration. Out of the 65, few are for one mark questions, few are for two marks questions. In general out of 65, 35 marks questions are for the two marks that is 35 into 270. 
31 more questions are there, 30 plus 70, 100 marks. So, let us see how these 30 and 35 marks have been distributed among the general aptitude, mathematics and core branches. So, general aptitude, 1 mark questions 5, 2 marks questions 5, total number of questions are 10. So, from this we are getting 15 marks and mathematics, 1 mark questions are 7, 2 marks questions are 3. So, from this we are going to get 13 marks. For civil engineering, 18 marks are the 1 mark questions. 27 are the 2 marks questions. So, 27 into 254 plus 18. So, total 45 number of questions will come carries the marks of 72. So, as I mentioned 65 questions carries 100 marks and the duration is 3 hours. So, the gate qualifying cutoff marks if you see I am giving 2025 here. So, since our focus is both civil engineering and geometrics. General category 29.2 and 25.7, SCST, PWD 19.4 and 17.1. So, if I see the civil engineering, then minimum we need to get 30 marks so that we are on the safe side. Every time this may not be the same cutoff mark will be there, but still more or less 30 will be the cutoff mark. So, that we can see. Then get civil engineering subject wise weightage. So, what are the weightage of various subjects? So, if you see here general aptitude mathematics 15 and 13 we have seen previous slides also. Geotechnical engineering 12 to 16, environmental engineering 10 to 14, transportation engineering 8 to 10. So, if you observe this one, these three subjects plays an important role. Geotechnical engineering, environmental engineering, transportation engineering, these three together a minimum of 30 marks will be there in the final exam out of 72, 30 marks will be from these three subjects only. If you prepare these three subjects properly and the more chances are there for the qualify, qualification also in the gate exam. After this fluid mechanics and open channel flow, we are having 7 to 9 marks as the weightage and geometrics engineering, it is nothing but advanced concepts with the basic surveying. Advanced concepts like photogrammetric surveying, GPS, GAS, these are newly added topics for the past few years and they are asking the questions from that also. So, the weightage is 5 to 6. Structural analysis, you are going to have the weightage of 4 to 7. RCC, 4 to 5, reinforced cement concrete. Irrigation and hydrology, 3 to 7. Solid mechanics or mechanics of material or strength of materials like that, we are having 2 to 4. Steel structures, 2 to 3. Engineering mechanics, 1. This weightage may not be same in all the cases because the exam will be conducted in the session wise. In one session, geotechnical engineering, you may have 8 questions only. But transportation engineering, you may have 14 questions. It depends. But overall weightage is this one. So, based on that one, we can understand on what subjects they are focusing mainly. Mainly, they are focusing on geotechnical, environmental, transportation. These three are the preferred subject and then geometrics engineering. Steel structures, we are having only 3 to 4 concepts. Repeatedly, they are asking on the same concept. So, you can focus on these things also. So, these are the weightage of subject wise weightage for the civil engineering. So, we will discuss in another next videos about the weightage of each topic in various subjects like geotechnical engineering, what are the various topics and their weightages, environmental transportation like this. We are going to discuss about the topic wise weightage in each and every subject also. So, this is about the gate civil engineering especially for the 2026 point of view. Hope the things are very clear to you. If you have any doubts or if you need any information, please comment below and I am going to answer all your comments also. So, I request you all again to like, share and subscribe our channel and encourage me so that we can have the very good quality of content soon also. In future, we are going to have the very good content related to our academics and field applications also. This is for today. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Thank you.